Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. In Spectral Layers 12 Pro, Steinberg have added a number of new features and updated and improved some existing ones. These include the unmixed noisy speech and voice denoise modules. In this video, I'll be putting them through the paces with various noisy speech recordings. To do this, I'll be using six different pieces of audio. I've used all of these on previous noise reduction tests and they all have their own different noise problems. This should be a very good challenge for Spectral Layers 12 Pro. Here's example one, first of all, raw. We have something on offer for everyone, whether they are local to one of our sites, whether people working in the surrounding area, or people traveling for, for social reasons. Okay, so it isn't too bad, but it does have that consistent air conditioning noise in the background. We'll start with unmixed noisy speech. This works by analyzing the audio and intelligently separating speech from noise and putting them onto their own separate layers, which you can then use to balance against each other. Let's just preview this. We have something on offer for everyone, whether they are local Speech to one or of our sites. Noise. Okay, let's apply this. And once it's complete, over on the right hand side in this layers section, we now have speech and noise, and they're shown in their own different colours in the spectrogram. So I'll play it. We have something on offer for solo the noise. Of our sites. And speech. Whether people working in the surrounding area or people travelling for, for social reasons. I'm very impressed with that. I tried this same example in Spectral Layers 11 and there were some audible artifacts which aren't present now, so that's great. Let's undo this and then go into voice denoise. Preview. We have something on offer for everyone, whether they are local to one of our sites. It seems to be similarly clean. With this, you can actually choose whether you want to reduce noise music, so perhaps if someone's speaking with background music, or if there are other voices present in the background, it can also reduce those. Let's render this and take a listen to the result. We have something on offer for everyone, whether they are local to one of our sites, whether people working in the surrounding area or people traveling for, for social reasons. Excellent. Example two. Here it is in its raw form. I always wanted to do um, design or architecture. Um, didn't think I was intelligent enough to do it though, so didn't pursue it properly. Okay, so we have a persistent background noise, you can see it in the spectrogram, kind of general low level noise, but even more prominently than that, we have this vehicle reversing sound. So let's try this with unmixed noisy speech. I'll start with a preview. Noise and speech. Didn't think I was intelligent enough to do it though, so didn't pursue it. Once again, it's a very good result. So I'll apply that, render it, and we'll take a listen to the two separate layers. Let's start with the noise. Or architecture. Yeah, and the speech. Um, didn't think I was intelligent enough to do it though, so didn't pursue it properly. Superb. And we're just going to undo that again, and we'll move to voice denoise. To save time, I'm just going to click apply and see what happens. Okay, so here's the clean dialogue on its own. I always wanted to do um, design or architecture. Um, didn't think I was intelligent enough to do it though. So didn't pursue it properly. Example three. Here it is to begin with. The drone would be a very good solution because uh, if you think about transporting drugs, vaccine or other, other, other things uh, for healthcare, they all transported by, by road. So let's try unmixed noisy speech. We'll just apply this. And once again, it's going to separate it into those two layers, one for speech, one for noise. And we'll see those two different colors in the spectrogram. There it is. So if we wanted to, we could hear the noise on its own. And you know, this can be a very useful way of actually extracting background ambience for use elsewhere. So you could perhaps use this to fill other gaps in dialogue if you're doing a dialogue edit. But also we have the clean speech. The drone would be a very good solution because uh, if you think about transporting drugs, vaccine or other, other, other things uh, for healthcare, they're all transported by, by road. That's superbly clean. Very, very impressed with that. Let's try the same thing with voice denoise. So I'm just going to render this. The difference between voice denoise and unmixed noisy speech is that with unmixed noisy speech, you do end up with the layers, which you can balance, do what you want with. With voice denoise, it purely removes the background noise. However, you could reduce the signal if you wanted to, so you could be left with the background noise. Either way, you end up with a single result. And in this case, it's the dialogue. 
the drone would be a very good solution because uh, if you think about transporting drugs, vaccine, or other 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 things uh, for healthcare, they all transported by by road. Okay, example four. How they got started, what they needed to get started, and if you couldn't get started with a certain technique, then that means your art needed a lot of work. So so he was doing thinking what Bruce was already thinking. This is just a bad recording. The microphone's too far away, but also we've got this really bad noise. Well, let's at least try and reduce the noise. So once again, we'll try applying unmixed noisy speech, and then we'll go to the layers and see if we can just gradually reduce the background noise as we play it. Here we go. How they got started, what they needed to get started. And if you couldn't get started with a certain technique, then that means your art needs a lot of work. So, so he was doing, thinking what Bruce was already thinking. Okay, it's clean in terms of noise. I think this would probably benefit from another module, which is voice enhance, which will actually restore some of those missing frequencies. That's something for another video, which I'll be making very soon. But for now, that's an excellent result in terms of background noise reduction. So once again, let's undo that. How they got started. Back to the original, and we'll go to voice denoise and just apply this, still with that 100% reduction ratio. So we're trying to completely remove all background noise. And here is the dialogue on its own. How they got started, what they needed to get started. And if you couldn't get started with a certain technique, then that means your art needs a lot of work. So, so he was doing, thinking what Bruce was already thinking. Okay, very good. There is some slight noise in this bit here. Technique, then that means your art needs a lot of work. But you could always go in manually on the spectrogram and clean those last little bits up. Example five. I like to think we get to a point where we're relying solely on our skill and relying on a certainty that we are going to make it and there is going to be no other variable other than success. Okay, so this example is always a good challenge because of the prominence of the noise. You can see it covers multiple different frequencies. Let's try unmixed noisy speech, apply this, and then we'll once again isolate those two layers and just see how clean the result is. Let's start with, once it's rendered, the noise. And then the speech. Our skill and relying on a certainty that we are going to make it and there is gonna be no other variable other than success. And then of course the recording is a little bit thin sounding so we could either EQ it or perhaps we could try voice enhance. As I said, I'll be making that video soon so keep an eye on the Production Expert blog for that. Okay, I've undone this, so let's go to voice denoise and see what it can do. Here's the result. I like to think we get to a point where we're relying solely on our skill and relying on a certainty that we are going to make it and there is gonna be no other variable other than success. Very impressive. Example six, final one. Everybody is so friendly, so helpful. Yeah, it's, it's a good place to work. This is very bad mains hum. It's a 50 hertz hum, but with loads of harmonics that span several frequencies. You know, it goes all the way up to what? Six kilohertz or something before it completely tails off. So huge problem. Let's go to unmixed noisy speech, render this. And once again, here's the noise. And the speech. Everybody is so friendly, so helpful. Yeah, it's, it's a good place to work. Superbly clean. Very, very impressive results. And now we'll move to voice denoise and try and render this. A very effective way of cleaning up dialogue, whether you're working on documentaries or TV content. And you know, I'm using the standalone version of Spectralayers 12 Pro in these examples. However, it's also available as an ARA plugin in several doors, including Steinberg's Nuendo and Cubase, and also Avid Pro Tools. So here's the result. Everybody is so friendly, so helpful. Yeah, it's, it's a good place to work. That's six examples of cleaning up noisy dialogue recordings using the newly improved Unmixed Noisy Speech and Voice Denoise modules in Spectralayers 12 Pro. For more information, visit steinberg.net. Thanks for watching.